Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. How is everybody doing today? I hope everyone is doing well and enjoying this beautiful Sabbath. This is the Sabbath that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. I wanted to come to you for a moment uh, with a thought that uh, I received while I was reading. And it's coming out of the book of Exodus, dealing with Moses. And uh, it's coming from Moses, as a matter of fact, the last uh, chapter of Exodus. And it says, uh, Then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. It said, And Moses was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation because the cloud abode thereon, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. Jesus. You know, it just made me think about uh, how you, you ever heard somebody say, um, I went to service today, but I didn't feel nothing. Uh, I didn't get nothing. Honey, the Bible says that we are a tabernacle. It it, it uh, describes us as a uh, tabernacle. In the New Testament, the Old Testament, uh, when ref when referring to a tabernacle, it was talking about a building. But hey, in the in the New Testament, the tabernacle is our body, our temple. My God, our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. So, you know, going forward, guess what? If you're uh, somewhere and you don't feel nothing, <laughs> what you bring it to the table? Because our body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. And surely, as with Moses, the Bible says that the cloud covered the tent of the congregation. And it said, and the glory filled the tabernacle. It's the glory. Is your, your tabernacle filled with glory? Hey, is your tabernacle filled with glory today? Hey, that's what I'm asking to take. Hey, the church today, is your tabernacle filled with glory? My God. And it says, and Moses was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation because of the cloud abode thereon. You know, nowadays you can be saved and do anything. You can be saved and cuss. You can be saved and club. You can be saved and go here. You can be saved and go there. You don't have to change. Everything is everything. My God, but guess what? You should not be able to enter into, hallelujah, certain atmospheres because of the glory cloud, because your tabernacle is filled with glory. Jesus, how many glory carriers are out here that understand that my life is not my own? And because of that, I can't go anywhere. I can't do anything. I can't wear anything. I can't say anything. My God, because my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Jesus, God. And it says, and when the cloud was taken up from over the tabernacle, tabernacle it says the children of israel went onward in all their journey now that that uh they could rely on that cloud uh in their day what about the Holy Ghost? What about, hey, we've been filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. And the Bible says, for as men as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So, you know, we serve the same God, my God, and the Holy Ghost will rest upon you. And when the Holy Ghost rests upon you, it'll get, it will, hey, almost serve as a, um, a, a, a aid to let you know, mm, don't do that. Mm, don't say that. Mm, don't go. It, it, you know, just like that cloud, it says when the cloud was, uh, was on them, upon them, uh, upon the tabernacle, they didn't go on in their journeys. We just journey and people just journey. They just going through the motion, just journeying here, journeying there, doing this, doing that, hands in that, feet in that. Wait a minute. What about the Holy Ghost? Is the Holy Ghost sitting on anybody today? Is the Holy Ghost sitting on anybody today? Is the Holy Ghost dealing with anybody today? Is the Holy Ghost giving you a tap anymore? My Lord, do the Holy Ghost tap you when you... Uh, don't do that. Don't say that. Don't go. Don't wear that. It's the Holy Ghost tapping anybody. Hallelujah. The way it was back then when, a, when, a, when that glory cloud sat upon the tabernacle, they didn't move. But then the Bible say, when it lift up off of them, my God, they began to go on their journeys, my Lord. And then you get that freedom, my God, when God is leading you, when you feel compelled to do something, you feel compelled to pray, you compelled to give, you feel compelled to go, you feel compelled to wear a certain thing. This is the same God and this is the same spirit, my Lord. And God wants us to take advantage of it. 
Hallelujah. It's time to pray fast and eat the word like we're eating natural food my heart so it can stir up and activate the glory my god so it can stir up and activate the glory so we won't just be going on these different journeys my god unproductive unfruitful journeys my god and we can actually journey for the lord we can actually do something that is pleasing in his sight how many want to be led by the spirit of god today so today we want to beef up our prayer, our fasting, and our study of the word so it can beef up, my God, our faith. The Bible says that we build up our most holy faith by praying in the Holy Ghost. How many want to pray? My God, sometimes you don't know what to pray. Pray in the Holy Ghost, my heart. And the Holy Ghost will make intercession for you and groanings and murmurs, my God, like the Bible say, that cannot be uttered. It say, he that searched the heart know what is the mind of the spirit. Come on, y'all. Come on here. We need to have... Uh, come on, I come to Jesus and realize what we got here. Our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, my Lord. So we want to stir up that gift. Look at my shirt. My shirt said, first of all, let's pray. First of all, let's pray. You, you know, when, when somebody get ready, get sad, they say, first of all, uh, uh, baby, first of all, <laughs> let's pray. First of all, let's pray. Let's get back to prayer. Let's get back to prayer, to that soul-shaking prayer that stir us up, that stir up our pure mind. My God, that sanctify us through the truth, my God. So it can activate the, the glory and the power of Christ in our lives. So we will be led by God and not by our flesh. So we can really get something done in the spirit realm. Y'all be encouraged today. I hope everybody is having a good day. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Maha. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Listen here. Keep your joy, saints. And if you feel like your joy has been shaken, pray to God and ask him to restore the joy of your salvation. David did it. David did it. And say, uphold me with your free spirit. Hey, Somebody spirit bound. Say, God, uphold me with your free spirit. He say, then, then I'll be able to go and tell somebody else something. Then I'll be able to be a blessing to somebody else. You can't bless nobody else when your tabernacle is way down with this, that, and the other thing. Moses could not enter into the temple because the glory was so thick. Hey, hallelujah, as it should be with us, with the Holy Ghost. We should not be able to enter into certain things, thought lives, certain uh atmospheres we should not be able to enter in because of the glory do anybody hear me today listen y'all be encouraged tonight i just want to stop by and just just encourage y'all to activate the holy ghost power activate it activate how you do that through prayer through fasting the word of god and obedience hallelujah to what you already know y'all be encouraged tonight look Get your clothes ready. You got church in the morning. Get your clothes ready. Is your clothes ready? Get your clothes ready for service. Get your clothes ready for service so you can be the church on time. Come on now. Y'all be encouraged tonight and have a blessed, blessed night. And listen, activate that Holy Ghost power. God has something special for you. Y'all be blessed and I love you in Jesus' name.